What is up guys, H Master here and finally after a long hiatus of just no news here, we've gotten some more LEGO Ninjago movie news. Now this is more so leaked than official pictures, but we do have new pictures of Ninjago movie posters. Now, these I assume are coming from New York Toy Fair, but again, these aren't really official. These clearly look like they were just sort of quickly taken and snuck out of there. But it is nice, you know, to have these, but let's go ahead and take a look at them. So first thing I want to note here is actually in the picture with Cole, Nia, and Lloyd, you can see on the far right that there appears to be some name tags there. Now these are mainly insignificant, however I do think that these could have a possibility of being in some form of product you could buy from say the Lego store. You know, maybe like a keychain sort of esque thing that you could put on your backpack or something. It's a little thing that there is a small possibility you could be able to get. These could even technically be minifigure packs, but you know, these most likely are just name tags, although those are some small possibilities. But taking a look at the actual posters starting with Cole, first thing I want to know here is in the back you can see Cole's vehicle. And I actually feel that these vehicles are the actual sets versus just how they appear in the movie. Because you can actually see on a lot of these vehicles that they have been changed. Now Cole's vehicle, uh, surprise surprise, actually has been changed the least out of all of these. This one is roughly the same as the trailer and you just get a little bit of a different look at it. But the main thing from Cole's poster that grabbed my attention was actually the Cole minifigure itself. Now although Cole is one of the minifigures we've actually had a good look at before, we get a just a slightly different sort of look here and it gives us a nice look at Cole's hood and you can see that symbol on the top which is nice and you can also see a little bit of printing on his actual gi. Moving on to Nia's poster, let's go ahead and take a look at that vehicle because Nia's vehicle seems to be a lot more changed from the trailer. In the trailer, Nia's vehicle had a fairly dark color scheme featuring mainly black and then some trans blue in here, but here it looks to be sporting more of a light gray or silver color scheme which is interesting. And in the back you can sort of see three flags and there also seems to be cannons just all the way around it. And then of course you can also see a Nia's minifigure which appears to have a little blue symbol on the front of her actual hood which is kind of hard to see but it does look to be there. But unfortunately there is that little tree thing in the way which really blocks much of what we could actually see from Nia. And then of course there's a giant pole in front of Lloyd but from it looks to see Lloyd's dragon actually looks a little bit changed because it seems to be using a sand green which is a little bit lighter than the actual green we'd seen from the trailer so that's just a little small thing that's a little bit interesting to note. And then we also got some pictures of a little bit of Jay's vehicle which you can't really see much there although you can see it looks a little bit purple to an extent but I think it'll be blue anyways but the main thing here is Zane's poster and let's just take a look first off at the actual Zane figure because this is the first time we've really gotten a good look of Zane with that hood on and I actually really like the way it looks I'm kind of surprised too because the way it looks in the trailer to me I didn't really think I liked the minifigure all that much especially with the eyes but the, the eyes actually look a whole lot better in this poster to me here than it did in the trailer so that seems pretty pretty good to me and then you can also see that he does have a sort of snowflake like thing on the top of his hood. Now in the background you of course see Zane's tank which is a little bit changed. Um, the cockpit actually looks to be a little bit different although I'm not 100% definitive on that. And you also see, I'm not 100% sure but it looks like the cannon may not be there which you could see very clearly on uh, in the trailer on the left side of the tank. But other than that that's pretty much it here. Um, sadly there isn't really much new Ninjago movie news other than this. Now I will of course still be looking out for any new pictures, leaks, things like that. And if I do end up finding some or when they just end up getting leaked out, I will of course have a video for you guys coming out for that. And I will probably make a video once again analyzing them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, see you guys later.